Well, a cafe owner is going to great lengths to keep Stinson Beach open during the partial government shutdown. She's spending her own money in a special arrangement with the Park Service. And she tells KPI X5's Don Ford it just makes sense, even if she loses money in the short run. When Stinson Beach closed, the Siren Canteen here started to lose a lot of business. And the owner says that's not going to fly. That park is now open. Mary Margaret Stewart took matters into her own hands when the gates to the Stenson Beach Park were locked because of the government partial shutdown, shutting off customers to her beachside cafe, leaving visitors nowhere to park. But she and the feds struck a deal. They offered the opportunity that I pay a donation in order to be open. Stewart is donating an undisclosed amount of money that keeps the gates open keeps the restrooms open and clean, and pays for one ranger during business hours. Can you afford to do that? No. <laughs> I, knowing that I will make it up in the summer season. So I, we're at a loss for sure. Staying open also keeps her staff employed. Word of her donation is spreading across this small beach town where everyone knows everyone. John Washington says the entire town is grateful. With she paying to have the park open, it gives people a place to park. It keeps the town cleaner. Uh, it's, a, it's a benefit for everybody. It's very humbling to find out that someone would do something like that. We love coming here. And now we're coming here like all the time. <laughs> but there's a problem. Mary Margaret says she's not sure how long she can keep the beach open on her own. I just hope this ends soon because it's not fair to small businesses or to government workers. It's, it's just not right. At the Siren Cafe on Stinson Beach, Don Ford, KPIX 5.